And the my twin, we be vibing. Cause he let you know I be all that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, the place where we meet up and we talk about real life situations. On this week's episode of Wine Down Wednesdays, I wanted to talk about aunt life. Before we get into this video, I just want to give a cheers to aunt life because I'm an aunt and this is like literally the best freaking life ever being an aunt. So yeah, cheers to aunt life, cheers to all the aunts out there. And yeah, because like, we the best. As always, make sure you are subscribed and make sure you have your post notification bell turned on so you are notified each and every time that I post. Let's go ahead and get right into the episode of aunt life. I'm gonna just let you guys know right now, this is probably gonna be like one of my favorite episodes of this entire series because Aunt life is like literally the best life ever. It's like a major flex and it's just super lit being on it. Like top tier. Honestly, I played the role of like a daughter, obviously. A sister, a cousin, a friend, a girlfriend, an employee. But being an aunt is top tier. Yeah, it just is. I don't know. We can't really describe it. It's like becoming a mom without carrying a kid for nine months. I became an aunt in 2015. I mean, am I kidding? I became an aunt at 15 and that was in 2005. I really feel like that changed my life. I officially, like on the books, became an aunt December 26, 2005. And I was 15 and I was my Christmas gift and my life has been pretty lit ever since <laughs> um, because being on is like it's a flex it's a real flex like especially if you have like nieces and nephews who's like smart talented stylish funny and mine are like all of that again I feel like this is like gonna be one of my favorite topics ever and I'm gonna try not to get emotional because I don't know talking about this amazing aunt life is like pretty emotional again it's top tier like it's literally top tier i'm literally auntie trina to everyone to everyone's kids um so of course you have your nieces and nephew do blood and then you have your nieces and nephew do love right and of course any of my friends or anybody who i like have encountered in life and who i have a relationship with their kids are my nieces and nephews so and i love them all and they all love me they all love auntie trina i'm gonna give a shout out to the uncles as well because you guys play a major role in the nieces and nephews lives as well but it's not about y'all right now this is about aunt life okay being an aunt is just different yeah i'm a cool aunt so i feel like i kind of grew up with my niece at school i was in high school at the time so of course i would bring her to like the basketball games or anything like that I'll bring her to school with me you know picking up my report card graduation all that good stuff like she was pretty much like my little my kid because that was my first that was my first niece right and I can I can honestly say one of the reasons why I know how to be a good aunt is because I was raised around my aunt and I feel like she kind of set the tone of like how an aunt should be or how an aunt and niece relationship should be so I feel like that carried over once I became an aunt and yeah so again I'm lit I'm a pretty lit aunt okay and my niece could vouch for me my younger nieces and nephew they probably can't vouch for me my older niece she could vouch for me I feel like my relationship with my oldest niece is totally different because again I was in high school and I also lived with my sister um like after high school or when I turned 18, so I was always around my niece. So again, that was like my kid. I got to experience a lot of things, like her using a potty, her talking, her walking, everything. I got to experience with her. So it was like literally amazing. 
I'm that girl when it comes to being an aunt. Women in general, we're just like really nurturing and everything like that. You know, you have like the grandmothers, you have the mothers, and of course you have the aunts. Aunts do play a vital role in the kid's life as well. This is not to take any credit away from the mother. You created this child, you gave life to this child, you birthed this child. So that's, you know, kudos to you guys. This is not to take nothing away from you. Um, but aunts are really like a second mother in a lot of situations. Like, in some instances, if the kid is dealing with something, they're like, dang, I want to tell my mother, but I don't want to get in trouble. But I could call my aunt because she's going to listen, she's going to pull up, and she's going to tell me right from wrong. But, like, I'm not going to really get in trouble. And I really think that's how it is, right? Because I felt like that with my aunt. I felt like I could tell my aunt things and she wouldn't react how my mom would react. A lot of times, moms have, like, more pressure on them because they have to be a mom. 365 days a year and they have to deal with everything like the good the bad again they're with you 24 hours a day and I feel like us being on like yeah we're there for you but at this end of the day we can like drop you back up to your parents so it's like less stress on us and we don't got to worry about like providing for you every single day putting food on the plate for you closing your back and stuff like that so it is a lot like less stress being on out of all the roles I've ever played in life or in someone's life i really feel like my favorite role has been being an aunt i just think it's like super rewarding you be like that's that's my niece that's my nephew you know what i mean from when they're like a baby and you watch them grow i really love it you know being an aunt it doesn't come with like a manual anything like that the same thing like becoming a parent it doesn't come with a manual but you just kind of like learn as you go i literally feel like being an aunt is the best thing that ever happened to me and if I'm ever like having a stressful day at work or if something's like annoying me or if I want to laugh or whatever, I literally just FaceTime my niece or nephew and they are hilarious, both of them. And they just brighten up my day. My nephew especially, he's a real comedian. It's lovely. Like I literally love it. Aunt life. Like I said, the best way to really explain aunt life is just like top tier. Like that's all I can say. Literally, out of all the hats I wear, all the roles I play, like, if I had to choose one, I would just choose being an aunt because it's, like, really the best thing ever. When I found out my sister was having another kid, the first thing I thought about was, like, what if this kid don't like me how my first niece liked me? What if the relationship is different because I don't live there anymore? And they don't love me any less. They still love Auntie Trina. And, you know, they know I love them. They know I got them. And yeah, I also feel like a big part of the rewards that come with being an aunt. It's like you are kind of learning the ropes if parenthood is something that you want to or you do get to experience one day in life. I feel like being an aunt is kind of like showing you the ropes because like I said, I feel like females are already like born with this trait of nurturing. Being an aunt and being around kids, I feel like that kind of that prepared you as well. Honestly, I feel like when I become a parent, I'm going to be, like, the best ever, obviously. But the only thing I'm really not interested in, like, not getting my sleep the entire night and changing pampers. Other than that, I feel like I'm equipped to be, like, amazing now. I've been doing an aunt thing for so long because aunt life is life. It equips you for what's to come in the future for you if that's what you want or if that's what God allows for you. So, yeah, like, it's a win-win. It's a win-win situation. You know, the same way you get generational wealth generational curses generational blessings i feel like i got the generational trait of aunt life the generational trait was passed on to me of being a good aunt and showing up for the kids because i knew what it was for me having an active aunt in my life and her picking me up her taking me to church her taking me to the fairs her buying me the sneakers my mom wouldn't buy me or letting me listen to like little kim and stuff like that back in the days you know it was like amazing. It was literally the best thing ever. So as an adult, when I um, pick up my nieces and nephews, it's just, it just bring back, it brings back those memories for me of like spending time with my aunt and I remember how it made me feel. So I tried to make them feel the same way and give them that experience of like, you know, like you could stay up a little late over here or you could do this. Well, okay, you wanna do this? We're like fun, 
but still strict. One of the um, other cool things for me about Aunt Life is that I was in the delivery room for my niece, my last niece and nephew for my sister. Um, I wasn't in the delivery room for Nyla because she wasn't even born in New York. And I was, like I said, I was 15, so I had school and stuff, but <laughs> um, I was in the delivery room for my niece and my nephew, for my sister the last two, and like, I literally feel like I've been there every step of the way. And it's like, again, it's truly a blessing. It's truly rewarding. The aunt-niece relationship or the aunt-nephew relationship is super cool because we know the TikTok trends. We know the music. We know this. We can still help with homework. We can take you shopping because, like, we kind of still have the same style and stuff like that. So, like I said in the beginning of this video, this is probably going to be, like, one of my favorite topics ever. And you know what's crazy? Like, I had a few other things to talk about today, but for some reason, aunt life just kept, like, playing in my head. For other aunts out there, what is your favorite part about being aunt? Being that being an aunt doesn't come with a manual, what are some tips that you would give the people out there about being an aunt? As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode of Wind Down Wednesday. Make sure you have your post notification bell turned on so you are alerted each and every time that I post. And don't forget to comment down below and let me know what are your favorite things about being an aunt. What is your favorite things about the aunt life? I'll see you guys in the next episode.